Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series number 36. We have a frontal view of the left hand, and the patient is coming in complaining of left wrist pain. And I want to focus your attention to the carpal rows. And usually what I tell residents is when you assess the carpal rows, you want to assess for all eight of the carpal bones. And of course, we know that there are four carpal bones along the proximal carpal row, the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquetrum, and the PZ form, and four carpal bones along the mid or distal carpal row, and that's the trapezium, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. And they should align very normally. So if you look at the lines or the arcs of Galula, the proximal articular surface of the proximal carpal row should form a nice straight arc or a nice curvilinear arc as it does here. The distal articular surface of the proximal carpal row should have a nice arc, as you see right here. And then the proximal articular surface of the capitate and the hamate should have a nice arc. When these arcs are preserved, we know that there's no evidence of carpal instability or carpal malalignment. Now, all eight of the bones should be accounted for. So what we have here is, this here is a scaphoid, which we can see. And then this is a lunate. And then also the triquetrum appears to be fused with the lunate. So that's the finding here. We have a lunotriquetral coalition here where there's abnormal or lack of segmentation of both the lunate and the triquetrum. The circular bone here is the PZ form. We, of course, have the trapezium here, the trapezoid, the capitate, and then we have the hamate right here. And this overlying circular structure is the hook of the hamate here. So the finding here is, incidentally, we have a lunotriquetral coalition. And if we take a look at the question that I have is, what's the likely ideology for the finding shown? So we know that this is a lunotriquetral coalition here. Is this from trauma? Is this congenital? Is this infection or is this from vascular causes? And of course, we know that the vast majority of lunotriquetral coalitions tend to be congenital. Uh, this is pr probably the most common carpal coalition that we see. Now, often we talk about tarsal coalition. So in the ankle, you know, the two most common tarsal coalitions are the uh, the talocalcaneal or the calcaneonavicular. Those are seen in equal uh, preponderance. Uh, that both of those are the two most common ones. But in the wrist, by far the most common coalition is a lunotriquetral between the lunate and the triquetrum. And what we're talking about is fusion between carpal bones. This, uh, just like in the ankle, this can be osseous, fibrous, or cartilaginous. So in this case, it's osseous coalition because we have frank bone bridging both of the bones together. So this is an osseous coalition, but they certainly can be fibrous or cartilaginous. We often loop uh, or link fibro cartilaginous together because it's very hard on imaging to differentiate a fibrous and a cartilaginous coalition. Now, this is the most common carpal coalition seen in only 0.1% of the population. So, you know, we do see other coalitions like a capital hamate coalition. I've seen that one before, but by far the most common in the wrist is a lunotriquetral coalition, hence why I think it's important for all of you guys to know this. This, again, is usually an incidental finding. People come in for other reasons for imaging like trauma or, you know, fall, rule out a fracture, but this occasionally can be painful and this can present with ulnar sided wrist pain. So it's always important to assess this. You know, you're obliterating the lunotriquetral ligament, right? So that can cause problems with mobility and pain. There's really no major treatment for this. Most are asymptomatic, so we don't really treat this, but I think it is important to mention this in your report because this can be a cause of ulnar sided wrist pain. And if we send patients home without telling them that there's a coalition, we've done the patients a disservice. So this is a nice example of what a lunotriquetral coalition looks like. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another high yield MSK unknown case.